So if you're a Logic Pro user and you're unsure how to install third party plugins, I'm gonna show you how. It's a common question that I get, especially from beginners. I thought it's time to make a video and just run you through the process. So you chose your plugins. I'm gonna choose Clear Glass and Quiet Piano. These two from a company called Quiet Piano. Piano, free plugins, link in the description, download them for yourself or whatever plugins you wanna install. So then we go to our downloads folder and sometimes the plugins will come in a zip folder. So all we do is double click on the clear glass and quiet piano and they will both open up new folders. So sometimes you might get a DMG file that you can just double click and it just run, run you through the install process. Other times it might be a component folder or a VST component file or a VST file. But for now we've got the clear glass DMG so then we double click on the DMG and it will open up box. Double click the icon, then it's gonna run you through the process. Click continue, continue, agree. You can read the small print if you want. We haven't got time for that in this video. And then it's gonna ask you where you wanna put it. If you've got an external hard drive, then you can choose the external hard drive. For this, for some reason, I can't put it on that external hard drive, which is not a problem because I don't wanna put it there. I wanna put it on my main drive. Click continue, and then we're gonna hit install. Type in your password. I always press that button extra hard. Then the Mac's gonna do its thing, it's gonna write the files and whatever it needs to do. And then sometimes it's gonna ask you to restart your Mac. I don't wanna do that, but I'm gonna have to. So let me just quickly close down all my windows. And sometimes it might ask you if you wanna move it to the bin or you wanna keep it. For this one, I'm gonna put it straight in the bin, hit restart. Then we're gonna open up Logic and then make sure that it has been installed. If it hasn't been installed, I'm gonna show you how to make sure you can see it. So then we're gonna open up Logic and then just, I'm just gonna open up a new session and we want software instrument. And then we're gonna look for quiet music and there's quiet piano. So we click that and it should open up. Click start. And it's there. It doesn't sound too bad for a freebie. Sounds quite nice. So what happens if you can't see the new plugin that you've just installed? So you've gone to look for your plugin that you've just installed and you can't find it. You've gone down to your manufacturer. It's not there. So what do you do? I'm gonna show you. Go to Logic, go to Settings, go to Plugin Manager, look for your manufacturer, and then the box says where it says Use is unchecked. Simply just check that box click done. Sometimes you might have to validate the plugin, which you can do that by highlighting the plugin and then clicking reset and rescan selection. And that will tell Logic, this plugin is fine to use. There's no issues and no problem. Make sure it works. Click done. Then you're gonna go and look for your plugin. We go down to the manufacturer, look for quiet music, quiet piano, click it, boom, we're in. If this video has helped you at all, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for more content. Appreciate you for watching. See you in the next video.